are you watching? Good morning. Whoopi is watching today. Red Hot Ladies. Oh, yeah. Yes. Excuse me, I'm. Oh, I'm Whoopi, sorry. Whoopi is watching. She's at the doctor's. I heard she's watching. So hi, Whoopi. Let's say hi, Whoopi. Hi. <laughs> we miss you so we much. Miss what? We miss you, and we hope you come back soon. Feel better. Okay. So Anna is here. Anna Navarro. Oh, yes. To discuss about her wedding because she got married over the weekend, right? Oh. But we don't want, we're gonna save that. <laughs> is this your honeymoon? What? Is this your honeymoon? No. <laughs> well, well, I gotta work to pay those bills. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna talk about the wedding yet because there's this Billy Hot story going around right now with there's a uh, a documentary about Michael Jackson and people want to talk about it. So maybe you should get the kids out because this is like really kind of gross. I, in fact, could not even bring myself to watch Leaving Neverland. I couldn't watch it. Uh, the HBO documentary where two men make sickening allegations about how Michael Jackson groomed them as children so he could engage in years of child sex abuse. This is the new allegation starting when one of them was just, I can't even say it, seven years old. It makes me sick. Take a look. Once the abuse started, and within that first week, you know, every night that I was with him, there was abuse while my mother was, you know, next door. At the same time, the sexual relationship is growing. He's working on pushing you away from your parents, pushing you away from everybody else, and, and it feels more like... Like it's just you and him. I was really into jewelry, and he would reward me with jewelry for doing sexual acts for him. So, you know, Michael Jackson was by far the biggest superstar in the world at that time. I don't even think there's an equivalent to him today. If these allegations are true, is that how he was able to get away with it? Because people were taken by the cult of celebrity. You know, wh what do you think about that? I mean, how, how is this? God, it's so upsetting. And I think it's, you know, it's so upsetting for, for us who grew up with him, that, right? We're that generation who, for us, he was larger than life and somebody whose songs we know and we still hear too. And so, you know, we keep hearing about these stories over and over and over again. I think uh, we have to say thank you to all the victims who have started to speak. I think part of this is happening now because of the Me Too movement, because it's giving courage to people like Crazy Blassie Ford, like uh, victims of uh, pedophilia by priests, like victims of pedophilia by and predator, uh, predatory behavior by celebrities to come out and say the truth. Mm -hmm. It's a different time, but it's it, I'm with you. It's very hard to hear and process. It is. I mean, you know, I spent a lot of my career prosecuting child sex cases, and I, I think one of the things that people will have trouble with is that during the uh, sex abuse trial against. Michael Jackson, uh, a lot of these uh, boys, now men, testified that nothing happened. And so people, I think, now are reluctant to believe them. But I will say that, you know, only 12% of child sex abuse cases are ever reported to the authorities. How many? Only 12%. Um, and that is because sex abuse victims and especially children believe that they will not be believed they don't have the language to even explain what has happened to them even when they um, even when they, women are uh, molested yes or, or attacked they don't come they forward don't, they, they don't, don't think do they're going to be believed and they they feel that the perpetrator will come out against them um and you got to imagine that these people that are grooming them sexually they're taking the place they're supplanting the place of their parents so there are a lot of levels involved and and trauma as to why they would lie um, and and I agree with you Anna there are so many people that are coming forward think about our Kelly's victims mm -hmm. that are, have come forward now mm -hmm. um, and so there's a real reckoning going on I have friends that are still prosecuting these cases and they're saying people are finally finally coming forward um, and uh, you know we'll see what happens to Michael Jackson's legacy because I think he's been so beloved his music is so beloved will people sort of cancel Michael Jackson remember there was this movement hashtag cancel R Kelly or Mute R. Kelly. Um, will people now stop listening to him? I don't. I he don't know what the answer. Completely. To that if, is. If, from, if you turned you know, on his song right now, any of his. I mean, I, I love. I love victims. Michael Jackson's music. Mm -hmm. If you turn that on in the room right now, right here, I'd walk out. I would walk out. And I, I. I don't think there will ever be a point in my life where I hear his hits and not think about this. This is all allegedly, and according to these now men's stories back in the day, it's brainwashing. 
It's brainwashing. You make them believe. And he was gentle. They all say that. He was kind. But he made them believe that he was the only person that could love them that way, that could give them what they wanted. i got to tell you, we've watched so many documentaries in the past two years because it's sort of been this movement in this time, and it's all coming to the surface. Um, this was the hardest one for me to watch. Oh, God. I, I didn't sleep. Monday yeah. night. It was, I, maybe it's the hormones, but like a seven year old boy who is right. now talking. And maybe it's because I, I looked at my one and a half year old in the eye and I think, you stole their innocence. If this is true, if what these boys are saying is true, you took their innocence. You took their life. You took someone's baby's life. It's a horrible and thing. And so watch it. It is very disturbing. But it was in front of, it was going on, in my opinion. I mean, didn't he tell Martin Bashir that this boys were sleeping I was going to say, yeah. I didn't grow up with Michael Jackson, but I did grow up with Wade Robson because he was a famous choreographer with yeah. Justin Timberlake and yeah. Britney Spears. He's responsible for the Britney Spears snake performance at the VMAs. Mm -hmm. I had a huge crush on him when I was younger. He was a big part on MTV. He's a big dancer. And I knew Michael Jackson saying Obviously, I knew his music, but I remember watching the Martin Bashir documentary in high school where he said, um, it's very charming, it's kind, kids want to be loved, they want to be touched, they want to be held. I remember watching this documentary with my high school boyfriend and being like, he is a pervert. Yeah. So I've been done with Michael Jackson for a while. It is a very hard documentary to watch. I watched all four hours, as yeah. you know, as well. I watched Oprah's interview afterward. The people who are shaming Oprah and Wade Robson and James Safechuck, I don't understand it. I don't understand, and there's a big backlash towards this documentary and Oprah. They don't want to believe well. it. They don't want to believe I it. I understand we don't want to, uh, in, they're inconvenient realities of our icons and of, and of people yeah. in pop culture and, and people in these in these situations, but I believe James Safechuck and Wade Robson. I believe that Wade Robson didn't want to come forward because he was a big hit maker. He was, he was at the top of his choreographer career as well, and he didn't want to be known as the kid who was molested by Michael Jackson, and when you're talking about the shaming, I, I, that is how I interpreted what he and was saying. And they still look pretty traumatized, and yeah. for those of you who haven't seen it you should see it because that's the other thing allegedly they, they, allegedly right. they, they 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 feel traumatized and then they they you know to sort of push the story away and say well I don't want to look at them I don't want to hear them you're erasing and devaluing their experience and what happened and I just traumatic I, for I the entire you, family can I, yeah, think about the, the, how yeah. excruciating this has got to be for the parents to be hearing it Two of I them think it's a, suicide. You know, it's, a, yeah. it's a lesson for Two parents everywhere you know, be suspicious. You know, put your yes. children first. Nothing comes above the kids. Not relationships with celebrities, not money, not relationships with teachers. Yeah. Be suspicious and protect your but, kids but above is, everything. But this is my problem with this. Yeah. The Catholic Church, the Baptist Church, Hasidic communities, they're all allegations of pedophilia scandals going on in this mm -hmm. as well. So it's not just fame and fortune. We're right. the, the gross and inconvenient and disgustingness of pedophilia is happening. It's happening everywhere it's culturally. It is an epidemic. And it's it's so our least, least protected in our society are the uh, elderly and children, yeah. and we have to do more about it. Yeah, I, I, do have a, I, I do have a legal note. Jackson's family and estate have denied all the allegations against him. The estate is suing HBO for $100 million, and on behalf of the family, attorney Howard Weitzman stated this. HBO chose to fund and produce a film where they knew the two subjects had for many years testified under oath and told family, friends, and law enforcement enforcement that Jackson did nothing inappropriate to either of them. The Jackson family said in a statement, the facts don't lie, people do. Michael Jackson was and always will be 100% innocent of these false allegations. And when we <laughs> Wait, can I say one more thing? For whatever yeah. it's worth, Macaulay Culkin and Corey Feldman both say this didn't happen to them, and they were obviously young boys around him at the time. Just because, and and, and they do say that, but just because it didn't happen to them does not agree. negate that this may have happened but to these told, other two boys. I agree. I'm no, going no, back man. to the Martin Bashir uh, interview. Someone was discussing this this morning. Yeah. When you say that, well, little young boys are in bed with a grown man. Yeah. A bell should go off yeah. on the parents. Well, here's what. Just before we go, one of the mothers, Jason's James' mom said, "I didn't protect." my son that will always always haunt me I had one job I had one child I screwed up she said I danced when I heard that he died I was laying in bed the news came on and I was oh thank God he can't hurt any more children I was so happy that he died that was okay. from the mom right. years years um, later all right okay we got that over with when we come back we're gonna lighten things up and talk about Anna's fabulous wedding this weekend because you won't believe who we were hanging out with
are bringing their views. Amber Tamblin, Ricky Lake, Captain Marvel herself, Oscar winner Brie Larson, Annette Benning. And Friday, we're honoring International Women's Day. Because the only place in daytime to see the two women behind this powerful Oscar winning documentary is on The View. This week on ABC. Still ahead, American Idol's Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, Luke Bryan, and Ryan Seacrest are taking over The View. Welcome back. So, Anna Navarro, this weekend you joined the ranks of those of us who are so blissfully married. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel today, darling? Where do you think I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, it was, it was wonderful. I'm about to write a book, I think, on how to plan a wedding if you're old and busy and that's have no time. Husband, that's no, father. this is, and it's, you know, one of the most special times, I think, for any daughter is to be able to be walked down the aisle by her daddy, and I am a daddy's girl. Um, it was really important for me for my mom to be there. She's been in very frail yes. health. And to be surrounded by people who I like and like me, who I love to feel the support. I was really humbled by people who traveled from all over the country and all over the world mm -hmm. um, to be with us. I wanted it to be fun. I mean, we danced till fun. the feet hurt. Yeah. I've been having nightmares. I literally had a nightmare, you know, because there were a lot of news people there, right? Yeah. A lot of CNN folks, a lot of folks from ABC. I had a nightmare that Bob Mueller had dropped the report during my wedding. <laughs> And everybody had fled, you know, for uh, the scene. So I'm, um, so I'm very, very happy. They it just showed a picture of Romney. Romney was there. Mitt Romney was there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Your I new said, BFF. Uh, yes. yeah. I said to him, I said, hi, I'm Joy Behar, one of the sharp-tongued women from The View. Because that's what he called us when, uh, at the time. And, I, and which I, part of sharp-tongued woman from The View is inaccurate? Nothing. <laughs> And I even said to him, you know, I, I wish that you were president right now instead of Donald Trump. And he said, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, though. So I get a very friendly. Yeah. The, uh, very friendly. Uh, Joy comes out one, you know, during the morning, and it's Miami Beach, and it's very sunny. And Joy's wearing these like humongous glasses, dark glasses, but they're not prescription. And Don Lemon and I are sitting together. <laughs> and Joy, you know, she, you know, Joy can't see. By the I way, I can't. And Joy goes, Don Lemon is with me. Sunny. <laughs> She always wears a hat. Oh, he's skinny it's true. like her. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> oh, that's so good. In her defense, I was on my way to meet everybody, but right. yeah. What do you and remember most about the whole day? didn't have a shirt on. So like, when you look sure back the on the weekend, up. what will be the biggest memory? You know, everything, I mean, we worked so hard on this in a very short time, and everything came out exactly like I wanted, and I, you know, it felt perfect. The flowers looked gorgeous beyond what I expected. I didn't try the food because I was too worried I would burst out of my dress. Uh, you know, that was another nightmare I had, but everybody who did told me it was, it was terrific, and I really just loved the vibe. I wanted it to be fun. I wanted people to dance, to celebrate, to have a good time. I mean, we literally had to like kick people out of there at yeah. one or two in the morning, and um, and that's that's what I um, that's why what am I, I remember uh, most. When I was with uh, Sonny and I with Wolf, and I'm like this. What's <laughs> this? <laughs> was Wolf weird? was dancing. We were what dancing. Is that? Like, what is that? I don't know. I'm like, oh hi. Wolf, I don't know. Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Stupid. Blitzer has moves. I was dancing with Wolf, man. Yes, he does. That was good. I'm sorry. I love the pony. And you, Do you know like my pony? Yes. I wasn't sure if it was too much. But you no, actually look pony. like Sophia Vergara. Please, it's a room full of buttons. Of course, no. That's too much. That's what I figured, right? There is no such and thing. And by the way, she much. had fireworks at the end of the wedding, and it was yeah. signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Subtle. Was playing, and I thought it was amazing. <laughs> Understated. Amazing. Uh, I love that so Anna. <laughs> okay, but we have to go now. But when we come back, we'll talk politics. We'll be right back. <laughs> late getting to viewyourdeal.com then go there now because we partnered with vendors for at least half off spring styles you want to be in this season welcome back Whoopi, are you still watching i wonder <laughs> house democrats are casting the net wide demanding documents for more than 80 people and institutions affiliated with trump they're focusing on obstruction of justice public corruption and abuses of power so is this the right move or could this backfire on them like it did when the Republicans wouldn't stop investigating Bill Clinton for the, you know, what he did? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs>
Well, I think for me, it's it's hard to tune into which investigation is going on. And there's one for Robert Mueller, the Southern District of New York, District of Columbia, Eastern District of Virginia, New York City, New York State, and the House Judiciary Committee. So there's a lot of investigations going on. Yeah. And I do think Democrats are just throwing out to see if something sticks. There is the possibility that they could get out over their skis or overshoot the runway and possibly do what happened to Bill Clinton in the 90s. I am sort of sick of living in hypotheticals. I would love the Mueller report to be released right this second, as you, so we can find out some information I'm about okay what happened. I'm okay with that now that the wedding is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're right. Why? Then what about the Southern District? They're the ones who are really going to get him, I, I think. think. Well, can I show a clip of AOC yeah. really quick? Sure. While he's talking collusion, 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 I think in oversight, we should be talking about taxes, 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 and his bank account, his bank account, his bank account, his financial statements, statements, statements. I, 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 this is just yeah. going off of what she did during the hearing, the Co Michael Cohen hearing. Right. She's on the right track. Follow yeah. the money. Follow Stop the money. worrying about collusion. And again, I'm highly critical of her, but on this stuff in particular, I think she's tonally well, where Democrats should be. Well, if we history, if follow the money got yeah. Nixon and it got Al Capone. Yeah, keeps, yeah. and, and I've been keep, saying it from right. the very beginning. Uh -huh. I've been saying this is about campaign finance law, the hush money, you know, the workaround so that he would sort of uh, elude and, uh, you know, the, the American public's perception of having an affair with a porn star right after your wife just had a baby. He didn't want the American people to know that about him. I think we need to look at the emoluments clause, the fact that he is still lining his pockets and putting his financial interests before the interests of our country. I think that is where we need to go. And if you're the oversight yeah. committee, that's then focus what on, you need then to focus, focus on. on. Yeah, focus on that one thing. I, I, I think that this is going to back fire on Democrats because it is so broad. It's like they threw the kitchen sink out there. They're going to look into a like lot of crimes, possibly. Yeah, but I think yeah, there are I think there are enough yeah. American people out there that don't even like Trump that will say this is this is too much. And the Democratic Party needs to focus on what their 2020 is around the corner. What is their main platform? How do they win an election? They that is platform. how they're going to be most successful. But how how about you learn from history? As we've all said this was not a winning solution for Republicans going against Bill Clinton. Yeah, but that was focus, they, focus on they Bill Clinton. Clinton. It was with one woman. This guy's screwing the whole country. Right. Yeah. No, but look, here's, no, here's, it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. Here's, here's something that we have to keep in perspective. We're talking about different committees, right? So mm -hmm. the Intelligence Committee, yeah. I think, has got a duty to investigate whether this campaign of Trump's colluded with Russia. And what in the hell is this compromise that they've got on him That's that true. he keeps coddling to this, you know, murderous dictator, oligarch in Russia? That's one committee. Right. The Oversight Committee, I think should do what Alejandra Ocasio-Cortez is saying they do and, and what you guys are saying and follow the money. They are two different things. And, you know, Collusion is not a crime, though, and, and that makes me angry as well, because I actually think if you collude with a, with a foreign adversary, you know I have the problems I have, it, but it is not a crime. But conspiracy but to conspiracy collusion is. is. And I but think you just said collusion. Yeah, so. but, but collusion, and that's, that's why Trump is using that. That's why he's saying collusion, collusion, collusion. There's not going to be any collusion, because he's duping the American people. And while textbook, it's not a crime, conspiracy with a foreign government. And also government remember is. that when you have a, a congressional investigation, it might lead to legislation. For example, you know, if this over Oversight Committee comes up with something, perhaps they should have legislation that requires presidential candidates to release taxes. their taxes. Yeah. That well, should be I a requirement for forward, the president. I think that will happen going if, forward. If only if it's law. Well, they have to. Yeah. Well, I, want to say I mean, it was thing. optional for Trump. I want Sonny Hostin to put on your bio everywhere emoluments clause because you really <laughs> do bring this I've up. I've been saying it. Since I've worked here, you have been About the person years. that has been on. And if that ends up being what gets him, you are the one that Thank has been you. saying the alarm on it. <laughs> so it comes up, you really do okay. say it right. almost weekly. Mm -hmm. Sonny Austin, emoluments clause. Yes. That's your next bio. Okay. It's not going to get him. You don't want it to be. Ain't gonna All right, go. I have to go. We'll be right back. Yes, we'll be right back. It's true. Up next, American Idol judges Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan, and host Ryan Seacrest. No! Ryan Seacrest and judges Luke Bryan, Katy Perry, and Lionel Richie.
of maneuver the hugging. So oh. we were like, just sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down but goes Kate. Aaron, uh -oh. these, these pants oh, yeah, are kind of slippery. Well, and these yeah. stools are, are not the easiest. Yeah. No. What did you, you do in the 70s? Uh, <laughs> we threw it off the chair. Yeah. <laughs> the but we had our platform shoes to protect us. <laughs> right. There right. we go. Well, Katie, we hear that congratulations are in order. Oh. Hey. Right? You are now engaged to your then-boyfriend, now fiancé, Orlando Bloom. I so am congratulations. Thank you very much. Were you surprised? Was it planned? Um, of course I was surprised, and I was really surprised when my mother posted all the pictures on Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. Moms okay. always get a pass. I think they get a pass for this they type do. of stuff. They but, do. Um, yeah, it was lovely. It's been lovely. It's a whole different feeling. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and the last time... <laughs> well, the last time you were on the show was in 2008, I wow. just found out. Believe it or not. You've been hot. Yes. Well, there you go. For the release of uh, your first mega hit, I Kissed what? a Girl. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. That was yeah. for all my plastic surgery. And, <laughs> and apparently this what the? Hello. She's gonna. Have to I like it. I like it. I like it. When the ratings have gone down. Every day. <laughs> but when that song came out, I mean, it was just such a huge hit. Um, when did you realize? Wow. I've made it. For all of us, uh, and Ryan, you host a lot of things, so you would probably know that <laughs> something like hosting the Oscars is like touching the ceiling. You know, you're like scared of it, you want to do it, but you don't want to do it, but you got to do it. At some point in your life, the Super Bowl was definitely yeah. that yeah. moment yeah, for me. Yeah. So I guess that was that back when you were amazing on the Thank Super you. Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody was talking Thank about you. it. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Songs and I can't believe this, but We Are the World came out 35 years ago. Uh, yes, uh, it was yeah. such, yes. it's amazing. It's wow. Such a beautiful example of people coming together. I think uh, we could really use that right now. What do you remember from writing that song? Well, you know, there's several amazing moments. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you one funny story. Uh, Ray Charles hmm. was asking during the ceremony. He said, "I've got to stop and go to the bathroom." And so, um, no one's ever heard this story, so no. I'm telling it to you now. Yeah, yeah. You get an exclusive. And so, Stevie said, it's down the hall and to the right. And Stevie Wonder. Stevie yeah. Wonder. Yeah. And so, Ray said, oh, let me get this straight, honey. Let me get this straight now. Uh, you, go, you go down the hall. And Stevie said, I'll, I'll take you. So, Stevie, Stevie grabs Ray by the arm, walks out of the door, and Billy Joel turned me off. I forgot who it was, and said, did anybody see that? Did anybody hear that? He took him out to the... That's what happened. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so that's what I remember most. Wow. I've got to give a shout-out to my sister in the audience. She missed school to be here because she loves all of you. Gracie, right there. Ah, uh, hi, Gracie. Uh, but she is especially the biggest fan of Luke Bryan. Oh. T-shirt last night, no. and I'm like, oh, this is very real. No, um, this is real. It's very real. Yeah. And, blush you. I know. But you know what? You're such a family guy, and they're even a part of your new music, new, new music video, <laughs> What Makes You Country. You've got yeah. two of your sons in it, your nephew in it. I want to know, being such a superstar, how you keep life so normal? Because you're public, you talk about <laughs> the it, ups and the downs. <laughs> is it normal? Um, I, I think, it's funny, you talk about that video, and, and we're sitting there, and we're staging this campfire moment with me and my boys and they physically start fighting and beating each other up. <laughs> and it's you know so we get to video editing time and they're like well we don't know whether we need to have the fight on so we kind of manipulated how bad they were but you know you have to separate them but but the main thing is i think it's about um, having your your core group of buddies that keep it real for you, mm -hmm. but and and you got to have your wife calling you out on your little. And she sure yeah. does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, sweetie. And, but I think it's about I think it's about that core group. But then it's about just trying to have fun with all this stuff right. too. Have fun. You know, we we try to during the summers. I get sometimes I'll take one of my boys and bring them out on the road with me and. I call two days later and tell my wife she can have them back. And, but 
<laughs> you know, just trying to just yeah. trying to make time and, and, and spread it all out. And you get it right some days, and you get it wrong some days. It's no different than a normal household. No. And no. but but you guys are always on some sort of adventure, though, like with your with your boys. It, we we adventure it up quite well. And I'm 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 like one of those naive dads that with I'm like the Clark W. Griswold deal, where yes. you know yeah. I start with the great I start with the with good intentions and, and, and naiveness right and then it just it just yeah, it, yeah, the, the, yeah. yeah you're no. it implodes on maybe for all of us you never know what's yeah. going to happen when you're with a bunch of people right that's how we operate on the view yeah yeah, yeah and look you, how many people are up here now i know so, i know, I know. But, but ryan you know you have so many jobs okay how many jobs have you got oh, i don't know eh? uh, <laughs> start on your it's hand and we'll end on your hand <laughs> Exactly. I mean, I you were hosting two red carpets for two different networks. When do you sleep? Um, I sleep at the same time you do, 9.29. I put my head on the pillow, I fall asleep, and I, I, I sleep quickly. But I've always done a lot at once. I mean, we were doing the American Idol auditions, and I would do live with Kelly and Ryan in the morning, get on the plane, fly to Denver, shoot auditions in the afternoon, and fly back here. That's, to, that's to, crazy. You know, phantom. Crazy. He's the phantom. Yeah. You really are. What's the craziest day you've ever had? Um, I think these audition days are pretty crazy where you'll, you know, I'll get up and I'll do a talk show, a radio show for Los Angeles. I'll fly to the you know the other side of the country for three hours of auditions with this gang and then get back to be here for yeah. the next morning. Um, when we do the show, we do it live on Sunday nights and I fly overnight every weekend back and forth every four days to the West Coast. But I know, I, I just, I, I work best when I'm busy. Is caffeine your friend? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, it's taking total self-control not to chug this yeah, right, right now. I gotta brag, Sorry, we got to brag on, on Ryan because... Uh, like we were taping some stuff last week and sometimes we're, he's taping stuff that we're not in the frame so we're sitting back there talking and then we're talking and we hear him make a mistake oh. and we're like what was that oh, no. <laughs> and everybody's like uh, Ryan Seacrest made the it first was, mistake was, hey. in 10 years. I mean, exactly. right. he is true. Like, we, we were on tape, so I didn't really prepare. <laughs> yeah, well, more with our American <laughs> Idol hosts and judges when we come back. Uh. Okay, so you know these ladies aren't afraid. Ryan, and that was Shay, a 17-year-old student from Virginia at her American Idol audition. This was an emotional moment for all. I feel... Yeah. I see choking up again. again. Well, you know what it is. I, you, you, you think it's going to be about judging. Yeah. And you think it's going to be about singing and performing. But then what I love about our show is that we listen to stories. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's winning over complete losing. And mm -hmm. what you get is a Shay, for example, she lost her eyesight because of a tumor. Oh. And mm -hmm. you hear her story, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I left Tuskegee, Alabama. We had a rough coming, not really. And then you hear her story, and she says, well, you know, God gave me a different hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had mm -hmm. to play my hand the way God gave it to me. But for her to stand there in front of us, I couldn't and control she said, You better preach. <laughs> Too. And on top of it, yeah. she opened her mouth. Yeah. She, was, right. she was good. Perfect. And I said, wait a minute, this yeah. is the end of the ball. These are the moments that you live for. You know, Ryan, you've been there since two, 2002. Yeah. We yeah. used to talk about it on The View um, in the old days constantly. Yeah, and then constantly. you stopped. <laughs> uh, no, no, we always had, you know, Simon to go after. Oh, yes, was always I, right. I love budget. that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You, the technology has changed over the years, right? So what, what's the difference that it, you see now? It has, and I know the judges see this, you know, the first season it was Kelly Clarkson and it was mm -hmm. Clay Aiken and Ruben Stutter those first few right, years right. Mm -hmm. and the contestants would come in <laughs> the contestants would come in uh, relatively prepared but now with technology oh. and YouTube they come in so seasoned really? and so ready at a different mm. start wow. caliber yeah. and so and so when you see when you see what the contestants have done Adam Lambert at the Oscars and Jennifer mm. Hudson what they did in the past what they're gonna do in the future may be even more amazing because wow. of how good they are so they're starting at another level is anybody like Simon used to be was very strict. Uh, was basically, yeah. I mean, I, who does you know, that? You know what we? Speak? I'm like Simon Cowell with makeup on. <laughs> but Katie, <laughs> Brett, Katie does he, it. He had makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. We want we want to play a quick play. game. A quick game. As judges, your opinions are key. So you have a nickname for each other. 
The Judgmentals. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the name okay. of our text chat. Okay, so time to play. Let's get done. your hot take. Okay. Mm. Ready? Let's go. Oh, man. Taraji P. Henson is going to break the ageism glass ceiling. Is it better to find success when you're young? No. Oh! No. 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 Better to find it when you're older. When yes. you're mature. Well, Why? Well, Why? Um, not agree. older, not younger, just when you're ready. Yeah, the, the problem that happens the most of the time is that you walk in and say, I want to be successful. Great. You're all speed and no accuracy. Mm -hmm. oh. So what happens, you get in and realize the business is not just about singing. It's all the things that come to you that you weren't asking for. Mm -hmm. Drugs, alcohol, you name it, Criticism. the girls. Rejection. Criticism, rejection. Pressure. You know, and all of a sudden, somebody walks in one day and says, it's over. Mm. They told you you can only win, but what happens when you're two songs down, it's not happening, now can you come back from that? Mm. Most of them get into trouble on the dip. Mm. <laughs> I am learning so much today. Okay, right. number one, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's Oscar moment. Ooh, Are they in character, or is there something going Luke on? Luke has a take on this. Luke has a take on this. No. Yes! This is so fun for me because people are like, they're in love. Oh my yes. God, they're in love. Mm. And y'all are talking about, I'm like, mm. they're actors. Oh, <laughs> no. They're trained. Wait, that's that's what she said. You enjoy. You and I are on the same page. They're, they're, oh, they're, they're doing they're really not, good. They're not they're even uh, okay wait, actors. They're not just actors. They're up for Oscars. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They're deserving of their Next question. Right. So thank you, Luke, you need to get that out. Thank you. All I right, finally Luke. found my platform to right. release that. All right. <laughs> Margaret Josephs wrote a story about whether or not you need permission from your spouse to go under the knife. What personal decisions need to be made as a couple? Sounds like you're going to send them to jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that that's a conversation to be had yeah. about if you're going to go under the net, because usually you need anesthesia. Yeah, you need a and contact. Right. You need yeah. a contact. Well, you got to get your health contact. insurance policy right. in line. Yeah. yeah, but your life insurance but policy in line. I believe I don't go and tell my, you know, better half well, every yeah. time I get a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I don't think that would be your contact, probably. Yeah, but I don't go under that for that. So did we ask right. the question? Well, yeah. Yes. You did. You did. Yeah, maybe I, 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 it once, I, but second or third time, you might as well have the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. He's on the region. Yeah. It's a It's a It's a It's a geography. It's a It's a geography and the regions Luke you are working something. on. something. He has well, multiple three. regions under consideration. Well, I would thank to Ryan Seacrest, Luke from.